Die, Mammoth, die! Oh, well, hey, guys. This is Seth of the Cygnus LPs. I was definitely not wreaking my vengeance on those mammoths for the pain they caused me in the past. Nope, not at all. And this is some more Spyro into the Dragonfly, as you can see, because there were mammoths, and the mammoths are so annoying. In the last episode of Spyro into the Dragonfly, I lost the ability to string words together coherently, and in this episode, hopefully I have regained that ability, and Sparks is now green, because apparently I'm very bad at not getting killed by mammoths on the way here. I hate mammoths! Did I make it clear enough that I hate mammoths? I hate mammoths. I, I, I'm glad they're extinct. Haha! -ha. Anyways, we shall head over here now, because that is what we decided to do. Before stuff happened and we didn't decide to do anything, I'm confused now. And we will get gems along the way because there are gems in our way and hopefully green sick sparks is not too sick to gather gems and whoa! Um, this might not be obvious, but you do not want to go down there without floating over to that yeti first because that's actually the beginning of the level. It's not that obvious like I said, but... That is a... it's a truth. It's the sad truth. Cheerio, Spyro! That's a good dragon! Cheerio! No, no thank you. I'm more of a Captain Crunch kind of guy myself. And, whoa, whoa, don't kill me. And let's head over here and see in... I was, I was looking like inside him for a second. This is like weird. Whatever. So now we are done the level. But you might ask, well, we are kind of lacking numerous getting hit in the face by mammoths. That... It just killed me. It just killed me. I... I was killed by it, and I went all the way back here because I got a snowball to the face by this guy because I got killed by a mammoth. Mammoth! Whenever this video is uploaded, guys, it's official hate mammoths day, so, you know, whatever. And now we will continue on without getting hit in the face by mammoths because they are annoying creatures and no one likes them. You have no friends, mammoths, because you're don't even exist in this timeline anymore, but, you know. Let's go here and open this chest with our key. Yes! And what do we get from it? Well, you should probably have a very good idea what we got from it. Did we get any dragonflies from that Mr. Yeti guy? I don't know, but we caught young from that treasure chest. How you catch something from a treasure chest? Well, I don't know, maybe if there was, like, this disease sealed in the treasure chest. Haha, <laughs> young, you're a disease. Wait, what? Oh, well, hey, we got a dragonfly right there, so... They're just liberate, liberate. I think they're doing the opposite of liberating themselves by just showing up in front of me because you know I'll put them to good use that will not involve any liberty. For I am Spyro, the ultimate of mean me faces, meanie faces. That was just anticlimactic to the point I was trying to make. But let's actually grab this guy so hey, that he damsel. actually does lose his liberty as opposed to <laughs> he's a <laughs> she's a damsel in distress. Anyways, now that I'm done making terrible notions of their names, I shall continue up here and get zapped by a fairy because, I don't know, maybe Spyro gets high off fairy zaps? Fairy dust, the drugs of Spyroland, I don't even know. Let's just burn this guy because he is being annoying. And which way do I go? There are two ways to go. That's, that's interesting. Not many split paths in Spyro, in the, at least this Spyro game. A lot of the times, things are pretty linear. But this guy is just waiting up here, so I'm glad we did go this way because we caught Shadow. Shadow, you, you don't look very dark. I mean, they could have they could have made an exception and had a, like a black dragonfly or something. Or maybe they were racist. The developers were so racist. They they only liked green people. Wait, what? Yes, they were racist against humanity and only liked Martians. That is the secret going on behind the doors of this developing studio. I tell you, I'm not making this up. Anywho, let's head on in here, shall we? And continue into the world of epic maziness. And by maziness, I mean amazingness. Because I'm pretty sure this isn't a maze. And if it is, well, I, I don't know. Slide, Spyro. Get to the bottom before time runs out. Sliding between flags will give you more time. If you can make it to the bottom in time, I'll have a special prize for you. Oh, I like special prizes, though it's kind of creepy the way you're just reaching out to me like that. Yeah, that. Just stop ride doing it. It's kind of annoying. Ride the slide? Yes, I will ride the slide down the side of the mountain 
of pie. I, I don't know. I just had to add something and it didn't work out. But anyways, yes, you are racing down the slide. You want to get into these flags, as he said, because it gives you more time, plus two seconds for the green flags. I believe there are different colored flags as you go along. But I missed the red flags because I am a failure at dragonism. Yes, I need to take dragonism classes. Um, as you can see, there are split paths. Maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not sure which path is the best to take. I'm sure there's one that's faster but has more obstacles or something. I don't know. Probably this one, considering all these ice blocks I'm ramming my head into. Not Spyro. Dude. Yeah, the key to sliding, Spyro, is to either win or fail. But if you plan on failing, at least fail the way you're supposed to fail by running out of time as opposed to failing by jumping off and losing the game in a way that was not even thought possible until just now. See, it's, it's, it's all logistics, Spyro. It's all logistics. You gotta learn this someday. But, whoa, that penguin wanted to crush me with his ice, but I was like, nope. Your ice has nothing on me, penguin. And then he got pissed and, well, Mario in a penguin suit came and killed me and I was very sad. But that didn't happen yet, I'm just foreshadowing the future. I mean, what? No, that's never gonna happen. And I'm going to run through these flags. Flags because I want time, because I like to actually win missions as opposed to run out of time, but that's just me. I, I, I don't know if that's everyone or just... Spyro, not again! Okay. What? Well, at least he's losing the right way by running out of time. Slide again. So, okay, this guy thought it was impressive the way we fell out of the sky into the abyss of nothingness and survived to live to tell about it. But anywho, yes, I'll try your slide again. Beautiful. Alright, so I guess A for the sake of showing it and B for the sake of not failing over and over again till the end of this friggin' race. I'm gonna try the other direction you can take with this. So, yes, there are two routes, and this one, I dare say, does seem a lot easier. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. See, see, a lot easier. A lot easier. Anywho, well, I did die here, so don't, don't speak now. You're probably still gonna die anyways. But... Let's see, no. Jump! Jump! Double jump! Triple jump! Quadra jump! Because, you know, you can do that. If you could do that in a video game, that'd be creepy. And I'd hope that that was some kind of power-up. Because if you could just do that from the start, that'd be a little both useless and overpowered. Anywho, let's talk to this guy. Very impressive slide work. Here, I found this dragonfly wandering around out here. I know, I've been practicing my slide guitar. Oh, you meant the ice slide. That was terrible work, but whatever. I'll I'll accept your praise. And I'll take Qbert from you. Interesting name. Uh, I like I like you, Qbert. Huh? Okay, there's a great prize waiting for me at the end. Uh, sure. Alright, so if you do it again, as stated by Sparks here, who's apparently more knowledgeable about the slide than the actual owner of the slide is, somehow, even though you'd think he would have stayed by our side the whole time, but who knows what he was doing, maybe he was goofing off on slides. Yeah, you start with less time, if I'm not mistaken, otherwise it's nearly the same. I just got hit by a penguin again. As I was saying, nearly the same thing, except you have less time, and I hit a penguin again. Wait, no, that didn't happen yet. I'm hoping it doesn't happen either. So, I'm going to continue on here, not get hit by a penguin. What the heck? It keeps steering me into the penguin. I ha I'm like a freak- Spyro, are your horns laced in penguinithium? I'm pretty sure that's not actually a thing, but it sounds like something that would make you magnetize the penguins. I'm about to run out of time, I'm about to run out of time. No, 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 crap. I can't make it like this. I cannot work under these conditions. Well, oh, okay, I can get 14 seconds. That works, that works, I'll take it. And I'm not gonna go for that, even though it's probably what's gonna save me in the end. Uh, jumping really screws up your control over Spyro, so 
it's not always the best idea to jump. I think that's what I'm trying to say here. Uh... As you could see by what killed me last time, sometimes even if it's a good idea to jump, if you're too bad at jumping, like this stupid dragon here, well, it's not gonna work out for you. Anywho, I'm hoping we can win this time. Jump, double jump, and I think we made it, unless we are really bad and we miss all the flags and we lose all the time, which is not gonna happen because we have five seconds left, mwahahaha, and I did make it with five seconds to spare, alright, so talk to this guy, what do you have to say? I found this dragonfly wandering around down here. Yep, I'm sure you did. And hey, it's Dancer. you caught Dancer, another blue dragonfly. It seems that you all the dragonflies we get this in these special fly. areas within the sparkly here. doors are all blue. Maybe only blue dragonflies are admitted through the sparkly doors. Because you know other dragonflies aren't good enough, even though you'd think it would be the green dragonflies because the developers are obsessed with Martians. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is getting weirder by the day. You can always come back to the slide if you'd like. We can find it quite calming after a hard day of meditation. A hard day of meditation, sure. Oh, what? No, no, I would not want to try your peaceful slide again. Ugh, oh, these... These monks, really. So what does a pacifist monk do after a hard day of being tranquil and pacifist and meditating? Well, they like to partake in deadly snowball fights and slide down death slides, or rather watch people do so for their entertainment. Yes, these pacifist monk man, like, it's, I, I, I'm glad that they showed me what it is to be a true pacifist. Anyways, in the next episode of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, we will try to put that behind us and go get some more dragonflies in this land of <laughs> pacifist monks. Monkeys. Because, you know, they're the keys of the monks, so they don't have to be as pacifist. Yeah, that's totally it. I will see you guys then.